public office holders. The socioeconomic rights and accountability project, Serap, has called on President Mohamed Buhari to ban parties of new cars by the presidency and all ministers. The group made a call-in letter signed by his deputy director, Kolawale Oluwadare, on Sunday. Serap also urged Buhari to use the savings from the ban to support students of tertiary institutions across the country to reduce the impact of COVID-19 and the lockdown on them and their parents. And now Adetokumbo Mumuni, Executive Director, Serap, joins us via phone to react to this. Thank you, Mr. Mumuni, for joining us on the news. It's a pleasure speaking with you, sir. And how are you doing this afternoon, sir? Help us understand the rationale behind asking President Buhari to ban portraits of cars by public office holders, please. Uh, let, let, let me say straight away that um, if you want to do anything in the democracy, it must be in the interest of the people who voted for you. It must be in, in, in the interest of people whose authority you exercise power. Now, what are we talking about? Now look at the economic realities of the Nigerian situation as of now. Purchase of new vehicles now for any person in government is not sustainable. What she, what government to use Nigerian resources for now are matters that will endure to the benefit of the generality of Nigeria. Matters of healthcare, matters of education, matters of social infrastructure. That is what is important now. Because whatever we do now must be sustainable. Vehicles are usable and um, almost perishable assets. They don't add anything to the life of ordinary Nigeria. That is why we are making this call. How successful? There have been previous calls from your quarter, from Serap demanding accountability from the government. So how successful in recent times and going back to all of the calls you've made to the federal government for the, for the sake of accountability, how successful would you say it has been? Well, you see, when I had the opportunity of speaking with um, the late Shuganifa when I was a student, that was around 1988 or 89 when I was at 200 level. He says, when you discuss Nigeria's problem, you have to be persistent in it. Because, because sometimes it is like a dialogue with the deaf. The, the alternative is to leave it, leave it for them and say they can do their work. But that is not in the interest of Nigerian people. We have made calls, we have advocated on accountability and transparency, we have litigated, we have won cases, asking the government to show accountability and transparency. That is the, that is the more we can, that is the best we can do in the circumstance. The other, the alternative is to say, Let's take love into our own hands. But that is not what democracy is about. Democracy is about using the existing system to pursue your cause. And that we have done extremely effectively. What I expect Nigerians to do is when we make calls, we make call on behalf of Nigerian people. So Nigerians should also join us in insisting that there must be two governors in Nigeria. There must be governors in the interest of the generality of the Nigerian people. That is what we, we, we hope to achieve. 
and that is what our advocacy all this right is all about. Executive Director of CERAP, Mr. Detokumbo Mumini, thank you for your time and for joining us on the news. It's a pleasure, my brother.